what we're going to discuss now is either bivalving or removing a cast. Okay, there's several different things the doctors will ask you to do. Obviously, if we just put on a cast, um, in some cases the patients are having a lot of swelling, what we'll actually do is we'll actually cut the cast either down the front, all the way down to the toes, or on both sides and then wrap it with ace bandages. The reason why we do that is if patients start to swell, they can actually take off the ace bandages, kind of pry open the areas a little bit to give themselves a little more space and then reapply the ace bandages. Um, the doctor will tell you if they need that done. Okay, it's no different making a cut here than it is in the side. So we'll do show you today is we're actually going to remove the cast itself. So there's going to be two cuts, one on each side. So what we'll have the patient do is roll to one side. So in this case, we'll have our patient roll slightly that way. That's great. Um, this is going to be pretty loud, so you're probably not going to hear me. But what I'm going to be doing is, as I cut, this this blade is not sharp, and I'll show you real quick. No severe damage, okay? Now, if you leave this on your skin, it will cut you, it'll burn you, all right? So as we're doing this, what we're doing is the, the, the saw itself is just oscillating very quickly. So we're going to punch in, you'll feel it cut through, and then you'll lift right away. And you'll kind of see me make a series of punches as I go down. You're not cutting deep and just running along. You're actually making several punches. And as soon as you feel a punch, you draw back and make another one, okay? So kind of watch as I do that. Mm -hmm. And before I get started, I just want to say, make sure that you're protecting the skin when you make the initial cut here, and also down at the bottom of the foot, you want to basically use your fingers to protect the toes or the leg underneath. So you'll notice what I did there is I just did just kind of a rocking motion in and out, in and out, in and out, and that's the easiest way. Now when we come down to the side, we get to just about the angle where you look at where 90 degrees would be, and yes, we're going to start making your other cut. You do want to slightly overlap your lines or they won't actually complete the cut through. Alright, now we've completed that, we're going to do the other side. The next thing we're going to use is called a cast spreader. You basically you place that in the groove and you're actually going to open up the cast with that. So if had I missed any spots, they'll be obvious and I can come back with the cast cutter and, and remove those. Alright, let me roll it the other way. Okay, in some situations, like I said before, we'll do this to a cast to give the patient a little more breathing room inside the cast. Um, and in which case you would wrap this with ace bandages. But now that you remove that, the only thing that's really holding this thing intact is the actual cast padding. So what we'll do is I'll basically just cut the padding away, or excuse me, the stockinette I should say. And once you do that on one side, as long as there's no residual pieces like here, you should be able to just lift that whole thing up just like that, okay? Um, and then just remove the rest of that stockinette. Cast removal is pretty simple. You get an actual bandage scissor. Now this one is not one. So a bandage scissor looks just like this. It has this nice little tip so you don't bother their skin at all. And what you would do is you go inside the stockinette, being aware of where they had their surgery. So if they're having an area of discomfort, you're not putting that scissor right along a, an incision line or something like that. Um, 
if they're having a lot of discomfort with that, you doing that, what you can do is you just take more time and you just gently pull apart the, the padding here until you expose the stockinette and cut the stockinette uh, by itself. And then you have the patient with their legs straight out, remove that, and that is how you remove a cast.